In this question, we're asked to simplify the following expression. Now on face value, it does look quite complicated, but it actually simplifies down quite nicely. Now the first thing you should notice is in this bracket here, this bracket is raised to the power of zero. Now one of the laws of indices is that anything to the power of zero is equal to one. So this bracket here is simply one. So now what we have is m to the minus two, n to the minus four, and that is all over two m squared, n to the minus four, and p to the minus one. Now for this next step, I'm going to write this m to the minus two, again using the laws of indices. So m to the minus two, can be written as one over m squared. So we've got one over m squared, and that is multiplied by, using the same process, one over n to the power of four. That whole thing is divided by two m squared. Now I'm gonna write the two m squared and just place that over one. Now that is multiplied by n to the minus four, and we can write that as one over n to the power of four, and multiplied by p to the minus one, which is one over p. So we've got one over m squared times one over n to the power of four. Now when we're dividing, we can actually change this to a multiplication as long as we flip the second part over here. So all of these need to be flipped over or inverted. So we get one over two m squared times n to the power of four over one times p over one. Now this n to the power of four will cancel with this one. And hopefully you can see what we're left with in the numerator, we've got just p. And in the denominator, we've got m squared times 2m squared, which is 2m to the power of 4. Now, if you found this lesson useful, please give me a thumbs up. And in the comments below, tell me which country you're from and which video tutorials you would like to see from me in the future.